everybody, Prep Adele here. I just wanted to do a wee quick video on a um, winter editions carry. So let's crack on with this. Normally got your wee grab bag with you, shoulder bag. You should take one of these everywhere with you. Um, even when you're dog walking, out in your vehicle, wherever you're at. That's all my normal EDC plus first aid kit. In the winter, I do a winter's editions kit. So I just wanted to share this with you quickly. Um, it's really, really cheap. And you've probably all got these type of things lying around in the house anyways. Doesn't cost much at all. So we'll start off with the water vessel. It's just an old canteen. Picked this up for a few pound. It's a Danish army one. Um, you can pick up any, any canteens. No, yeah, it is plastic. It's not metal, so it's not a fancy Pathfinder one to do all your cooking in. We don't need that. This is just an extra winter carry. This is your essential item. The metal cup. This is what you'll be doing your cooking and your drinking in. Again, a few pound. I buy most of my stuff from RJ Bushcraft, as you know, so um, it's, it's great kit, great value. So, yeah, um, it's the same as the BCB Crusader, apart from the Crusader's a little bit fatter, but again, great kit. So, that's your, that's your drinking and cooking vessel. That fits nicely together, fits nicely inside the day pack. Noodles, so cheap. That's a pound for five packets. You've probably got a packet lying in your cupboard somewhere. Um, brilliant to take out. Obviously you don't take the full five packets out. Put one or two packets in. Uh, that's it. It's an instant source of, uh, of, of hot food. Um, especially when the weather's the way it is. Uh, cold and, and the snow and things like that. So it's nice just to have something hot. Brew kit. Different types of brew kit. Wherever you're going to your fast food outlets or your coffee outlets, pick up the sachets of milk and sugar. Um, they're all they're all there. We've all done it. Take it, fill them up, put a couple of tea bags in, a couple of uh, sachets of coffee, shots of coffee, and if you want, I add a wee bit extra nettle tea. You just make that up when you when you're out and about in the summer. Grab the nettle leaves, wash them down, um, and then just dry them out and break them down. Look, nettle tea is lovely. Um, you do the same principles with pine. And then a wee spoon. Goes without saying what that's for. And fire lighting. I used a couple of different methods for fire lighting. We've got, we ca I carry a lighter for quickness. And trusty fire rod. Never really go anywhere with that one. Self-explanatory Lee. Um, you wouldn't wonder why I carry two. I always have a second form or even a third form of ignition. So the electric ignition lighter, these, these can get broken, they can get damaged, they can stop working, so you can't rely on that um, as much as what you can rely on a ferro rod. Ferro rods pretty much indestructible apart from um, if you get them covered in salt water or, or they get near a fire and they, they, they just dissolve basically, but again pretty much if you can't light a fire with a ferro rod then there's pretty much no hope for you. Um, and then you can have all sorts of, of, of other fuel, um, fire lighting fuel equipment, you know, your box stoves, um, your, hex, your hexi burners, stuff like that. I carry just a simple ethanol um, fuel, so it's just a gel fuel in the tin. The reason why I carry this is, is it's really quick, it's got a great burn rate on it and you can put, put it out straight away and it doesn't actually take up that much room. So. How quick does this light? I'll just show you. Just be mindful of your surroundings if you're doing things like this indoors for fire reasons. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. That's hot already and it's, a, and it's lit. Only took me a second or two. So that's the fuel. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. You can use different tins. That's one of my favourite tins, just a coffee tin. You can put all that inside that and with your fire lighting equipment. So it's just a simple, simple um, additions kit to your, to your wee bag that you would normally be carrying with you. So just to add a, a, a winter additions, so you've got hot food and a hot drink. Um, keep it nice and simple. Everyone will have their own ideas of what they can put in. To me, this is the simplest. Pack of instant noodles and some brew kit. As long as you've got that with you, you know... You'll be, you'll be, uh, at least you'll be warm and happy in the soul. So, as always, guys, you always have your own ideas of what goes on um, and what works best for you. 
I just wanted to show you a quick simple winter editions kit so I'd like to see yours if you've got any ideas like I say nothing fancy at all it's only a couple of pounds worth of stuff and stuff that you've probably got laying around in your kitchen so that was just a quick one for you guys as always thanks for watching stay safe keep prepping please don't forget to like comment and subscribe prep Adele out